Today, I'm going to talk about the five most important things, in my opinion, when it comes to supporting your child with executive function challenges. So welcome to any parents, teachers, therapists, anybody else who is here to learn about how to support kids with executive function challenges. My name is Seth Perler. We are doing 10 days to TIFOS, and today is day 10. So I hope you've liked this series. I've had a lot of fun making this series. Um, this has taken me a lot of time because uh, I don't edit, and I've re-recorded a lot and plan these out and I hope they've been helpful to you and I'm interested in your feedback in the Facebook group or wherever but I've put a lot into creating good back to school thoughts for you and I thought through what are 10 awesome things that I can teach you about as we are starting this new school year and so for any of you parents teachers or therapists that are here today I'm going to be talking about what I consider to be the five most important things of all and uh, these are important for back to school. In my opinion, they're just important all the time, but I'm going to, this is going to be a little bit more philosophical today, but I also do have two challenges for you today in support of these five things. So what are the five things that I think are most important and why? Um, and again, I'm so stoked. We're going to be starting TIFOS tomorrow. So tomorrow morning in your inbox, you will see a link so that you can access TIFOS and you can start diving into all of the expert talks. So get ready. I'll have a piece of uh, PDF that will help you get ready if you're interested in that. But anyhow, what is number one? The five most important things. In my opinion, the one of the, and these are not in, these were really hard to put in an order because I don't think that one is necessarily more important than another, but the reason I put this one first is because I think it impacts all the others in a different way. Number one thing that I think is important for these kids is to model a love and respect for the planet and the world that we live in. We live in a very complicated world, a very complicated time. These kids are growing up in a time when um, it's hard to see what we're leaving to our kids in terms of uh, the environment, how it's changed since I was a child, and um, and how people are to each other, and, and how there's so many good people in the world, but there's so much distraction with so much um, people who are not kind and things that kids need to be aware of in a healthy way. So my number one thing is, is um, modeling a love and respect for the planet and the environment and the world and human beings and animals and plants and, and, and just a respect for life and really taking that very seriously. So that is my number one thing because without a, a, a healthy planet, this is our kid's home and it really concerns me what we're leaving them. So that's, that's my number one, oddly enough. You may not have expected that, but that is my number one because I think we need that. We need to be giving them a planet that we care about. Um, so number two, Second most important, every time I do a talk in public, I say the most important thing, and uh, this is my number two here, but I always say that the most important thing is relationship. Because the relationship is where you want your kids to be able to come to you with anything. And if they're not coming to you with anything, then to heal and work on the things in the relationship so that they are. Um, we want our kids to feel safe and secure. Uh, we want to learn about secure attachment. We want to deal with any of our insecure attachment stuff from how we grew up and, and really be a secure base for our kids as best we can be. That relationship with them is everything. Relationship is the, the most beautiful thing in life is our relationships with the people in our life. So to me, putting the energy and effort and time into that, that is what I wrote as number two. Number three, uh, again, this one could have been number one, is mental health, our kids' mental health. Because it doesn't matter what their grades are. It doesn't matter um, what if they got in trouble in school or if they, you know, it, nothing matters but their mental health. And things can really get in the way. We can get very distracted. And there's a lot of pressure in the world to do things a certain way. But ultimately, we want to look at their mental health first. Is this interfering with their mental health? Is this supporting their mental health? Mental health, your child's mental health is so important. So that's one of my five things. Uh, rela very related to the mental health is number four is doing my deep inner work, you doing your deep inner work, us adults doing our own deep inner work, our therapy, our self-development, our taking responsibility for where we've uh, created harm or made mistakes in our life. So doing our work on ourselves, our whatever it, you consider to be work, um, that modeling is so important 
I can't even express it. So that I think is number four. Like if we want our kids to be mentally healthy and ha and our relationships to great be great and all these sorts of things, it requires us doing our work. So when I've been working with parents for a while, this is a comment I often hear is, wow, I didn't know how much this would be working on me. Because when we are working on ourselves, it really transmits to our kids in so many ways. And number five is why exec executive function is so important for life. So executive function isn't just for school this is for life in order for us we all want our kids we want our kids to be happy healthy and successful that's what i've heard more than anything ever from parents i just want my kid to be happy healthy and successful and some iteration of that comment right that's what we want we want our kids to be happy whatever that means right to our own definition but that's what we want. We want them to have a good quality of life. Executive function is a quality of life issue. This is very serious. When kids don't have strong enough executive function, their choices and opportunities and possibilities are limited. So, and as you know, if you've been following me, this was something that I struggled with as a young person. I have good enough executive function now, which is what I want my students to have, but it was hard to say the least but I got the support I needed. So it is so important. This I just want to express how serious this is. Um, it, it helps with mental health. It helps with relationships. It helps with the deep inner work, all the things. But that's the fifth thing. So to recap, and then I'll give you the challenges. The number one thing uh, that I listed as one of the five most important things is a relationship with the planet and the world and human beings and life and that respect and, and acknowledgement of um that this world, this earth has given us life and we're a part of it. And number two is the relationships, healthy, securely attached relationships. Number three is mental health, our child's mental health. Number four is us doing our deep inner work on ourselves. Number five is how and why executive function is so important for adulting, for life, for quality of life. Now my two challenges for you today and day 10 are for the rest of August, number one, genuinely laugh with your child every day. Take time, find time, make time, create situations where you genuinely laugh with your child every day. You're present, you're not on your phone, you're present with them, you're genuinely laughing and having fun with your child. That's my number one challenge for you make time to do that if you're already doing that great and if you're not figure out how number two plan routines for lack of a better word for connection now for the entire school year routines and traditions for connection when we're connecting with somebody we can be connecting emotionally we can be connecting just having a conversation about something that's interesting that we're learning about in school we can be connecting and laughing whatever the connection is it can be a heavy conversation a light comment it doesn't matter but connection we need to really take time it's it's just we're so distracted nowadays so my challenge for you is to plan routines and traditions so routines would be maybe doing temperature checks every day maybe laughing every day um maybe doing a weekly family night weekly dinner night a weekly play night a weekly there's something called super saturday that i learned from uh, george betts where we plan a day where everyone in the family gets to plan an ideal day and we do everybody else's day every once in a while so what trips do you want what traditions do you want what traditions around holidays what traditions around months what traditions when you think about how you grew up and some of the most awesome things about you growing up what were the traditions that were in your life whether they're from your parents or your community or uh, schools or whoever like think about unique places where you had traditions and you think back and you're like oh yeah when I was a kid I did this you know what were some of the traditions that you did some of the things that you remember so how can you create those routines and traditions how can you plan it now how can you sit down this week and plan out throughout the year times when you're going to be doing these routines and traditions either daily weekly monthly whatever so my two challenges for you is genuinely laugh every day in August and plan your connection uh, routines and traditions now for the entire year it doesn't matter if you do it just plan it i not going to get into why I talk about that. It doesn't matter if you do it, but planning is so important. Plan it. Set the intention. 
again, my name is Seth Perler. Welcome to 10 Days to TIFOs. It is day 10. Tomorrow is TIFOs. I'm so glad you're here. Check out the All Access Pass. The early bird sale ends tonight at midnight. So check out the All Access Pass. It is phenomenal, I believe. I mean, we put so much heart into this resource. Um, if you like what we're doing, please share executivefunctionsummit.com with somebody right now. I want to wish you peace in your heart, joy, and connection with people you care about, particularly the kids in your life. Have a fantastic day. And again, please share the site with somebody today. Take care. See you tomorrow.